Welcome to the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel with Steve Nevos and Danny Bossa as a guest today. Welcome, Danny. Thanks, Stephen. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, Danny is going to talk about anxiety on TRT. So, go ahead, Danny. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video about anxiety on TRT. Um, I've done a couple of little experiments lately and um, it, it put me in a position to share some of my findings uh, because if it applies to me, it could very well apply to a lot of other you, something for you to try. Um, before I do, I need to make a quick disclaimer to confirm to everybody that I am not a doctor or a physician, nor have I gone to medical school, okay? Uh, I think a lot of you have been following this channel for a long time. Um, I think we're pretty sure all of you have realized that I've never indicated Dr. Danny Bossa in the, the description as, you know, Stephen has a doctor because he's an actual doctor. Um, I, I've never uh, said any of this as medical advice that you should be following to the letter. It's basically just advice coming from me, sharing my experiences, sharing the experiences of at this point, thousands of people that I've spoken to. As soon as I'm learning something, I'm sharing it. I hope it helps. Um, because today we had a, a comment put on a, a YouTube video, uh, not even on our channel, a different channel, uh, from a doctor. I had a hard time with the doctor part. Let's just call him George Tuliados, the self-proclaimed uh, doctor testosterone, who stated that our bro science channel is basically just bro science and that um, the fact that I'm uh, pretending to be a doctor online is a felony. <sighs> George, um, the funny thing about North America is we have this thing called freedom of speech. I can come on a YouTube channel and talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. Okay. Literally any subject I like, I can give an opinion. I can give scientific, what I can give whatever I want. I don't necessarily have to go to school. Okay. Uh, there, there was a comment that you posted today and I just want to say this because I, I, it just blew my mind. You're stating that you do microdosing and then state, in this way, there is no fluctuations of E2 DHT that would lead to aromatization. So fluctuations of E2 lead to aromatization and erythrocytosis. So fluctuating levels of estradiol lead to erythrocytosis. George, if this is what you learn in medical school, I'm happy I never went to medical school to fill my head with garbage like this, okay? I also happened to work for Greeks for about 10 years and I learned a lot of colorful language from the Greeks and one of my favorite expressions was apo piso re malaka. On to our regularly scheduled program. Anxiety on TRT. So here's the scoop, guys. Uh, most of you guys know that I take 300 milligrams of testosterone a week, which for a lot of you would be a crazy high dose. Um, again, I've said it many, many times in a lot of these videos that some of my friends are taking only 100 milligrams a week to get the same serum levels that I need to take 300 milligrams a week. Okay, so we get the same serum levels. Our doses are worlds apart. They're world, world different. I did daily shots for the longest time for years because I wasn't getting dialed in and a lot of people were saying, you want to do daily, you want to do daily. And at the beginning, when I started doing all these videos, I was shouting from the rooftops that everyone needs to do daily. It's the only way to keep your levels as consistent as possible. And mostly because it also worked for me. So I was able to validate that claim. And I said, well, they've said that's the way it works. And I've tried it for myself and it works. Therefore, that must be the best way. The problem is that after speaking to the number of people I've spoken to, because uh, I, I get a lot of messages, is that we were finding guys that were on twice weekly injections, as an example, and wanted to see if they could get even better dialed in than doing the twice weekly. And by following some of the advice that they'd seen that I'd mentioned and stuff in the group, they say, you know what, I'll try daily and see what happens. A lot of these guys tried daily and suddenly their protocols fell apart. They didn't feel nearly as good. And some of these guys, tried it for months, went back to twice, daily, to twice a week, and suddenly everything is better. Tried it daily again, everything falls apart, go back to, and they, they said, look, I've tried this several times, and it is clear as day that I do better on twice weekly. Okay, so 
There is no best frequency for anybody whatsoever. You need to try different injection frequencies to find out which one you feel best on. Okay, so that's number one. I was doing daily for the longest time. And I started to theorize that maybe I only needed daily back when I started because my dose wasn't high enough, like a, my weekly dose, to resolve the symptoms that I had. Now that I brought my dose up higher, I said, I wonder if I could do with less frequent injections and still not have any symptoms. When I was in my mid-20s, I suffered from anxiety for about three or four years. I had really bad anxiety and panic attacks. I ended up having to go on an um, antidepressant for about six months, which the psychologist or psychiatrist, whatever at the time, said would help um, regulate serotonin. And then we eventually weaned myself off it. And that helped things a lot. So there was obviously some kind of a chemical imbalance or whatever you want in the brain. And over the course of time, my life just kind of started improving across the board, you know, with career and with family and whatever else. Confidence, you know, started going up. And, you know, that extra confidence, I think, really helped quell any remaining anxiety that I had. So I have not had any type of anxiety for we're going on 15, 20 years. Before we continue, if you appreciate the content we bring to this channel, check out the Amazon links in the description of this video. These are the links to the products we use, going from supplements, protein powder, pre, post, intra-workout, anti-aging cream, sunscreen, needles and syringes to inject, and so on. If you'd like to purchase one of those products, Please use the direct link so that it will earn us a few cents as a tip and you'll be guided directly to the products we recommend. Thanks in advance. So now here we are today where I'm doing 300 milligrams a week, daily shots. I said, let me try every other day. I switched over to every other day and I felt better. I found that odd. So I went back to doing daily, didn't quite feel as good and went back to every other day. And I was able to confirm by doing this experiment twice that I felt better doing every other day. So I said, hmm, I wonder if I might do better doing twice weekly injections. I switched over to twice weekly injections. Now what happens is when you're doing twice weekly injections is that the amount you're injecting at any given time is quite a bit higher than if you're doing, you know, your weekly dose divided by seven. By the third injection, I went to bed. I woke up in the middle of the night with the worst anxiety it was overpowering. There was nothing I could do to, to get myself out of it. I felt claustrophobic. I felt like I was worrying about somebody trapping me, uh, heart pounding. I had to get out of bed and try to walk it off. I'm like literally arguing with this little stupid voice in my head, trying to convince myself that everything's fine. And the little voice in my head is like, yeah, but what if this, and what if that happens? And what would you do if this happens? And, and it was like, it didn't matter how much logic I threw at this little stupid voice in my head. It wasn't listening and it was just overpowering literally everything. Um, I thought that maybe it was just some random thing. And this situation continued and worsened with every single day that passed with me doing this twice weekly stuff. Then I started to suspect, suspect, is it possible that my body just doesn't like a big injection like this twice a week? And I dropped it down back to my ear every other day and the anxiety subsided. I went back to the twice weekly again. The anxiety came back almost immediately. It was, it was crazy. Went back to twice daily. It's gone. Okay. So there's a lot of guys that come in saying that they're getting anxiety on TRT and they're not sure what to do. My advice would be to try going to the extreme, doing daily shots giving yourself a small little bit every day, every day, whatever, whatever dose you're doing, even if you're taking 200 milligrams a week, divide that by seven and do that for a couple of weeks. If you see that the anxiety starts to subside and you still feel equally as good as before in every other aspect, you know, libido and cognition and sleep and whatever else, just stay there. If you're still having anxiety issues doing daily, start bringing your dose down. I would say maybe do an increments of 10%. You know, if you're at 200 milligrams a week, Knock off, you know, 10% uh, uh, and drop down to 180 a week and do that for two weeks. If it doesn't subside, we'll drop it down again. Maybe even just go in increments of 20 milligrams. And you might need, you might find that you have to lower your dose quite a bit. 
there are a small fraction of guys that are taking much too little testosterone and also have anxiety. But if you're taking too little, it's gonna be pretty obvious. If you just look at your labs and you're like way at the bottom of the scale, you'll know that, you know, maybe I can try going a little higher. Obviously, if you try going a little bit higher and your anxiety gets worse, you're gonna be one of those, that tiny, tiny, tiny subset of guys that are hypersensitive to testosterone because testosterone does have an effect on the central nervous system and that you simply can't take very much. I have spoken to guys who cannot take more than five to seven milligrams a day of testosterone, anything more than that, their anxiety is out of control, okay? So is it a pain in the ass to inject daily? Yeah, sure. Is it a pain in the ass to brush your teeth every morning and take a shower a day? Sure, we do it anyway, right? But it becomes part of our routine. My advice to you, take seven syringes, load up seven syringes, and you keep them in your drawer, you know, dry, dark place, and in the morning when you're taking your shower and you come out, you just pull out a syringe, it's already done, that's it, give yourself your shot, and you're done. It's literally seconds, okay? It'll take you all of two minutes on a weekend to load up seven syringes. So there's really no excuse. If you can remember to brush your teeth, you can remember I'm just gonna, you know, stick this little needle inside, give myself a 10 second injection and, and, and I'm done. So hope this helps. If any of you guys have had this type of issue and you're really not sure, you can look me up on Facebook, Danny Bossa. Again, I, I'm not a doctor. I just have been learning so much on the subject. I get so much feedback from guys. I've experimented so much on myself. And anytime I discover something that seems to work either for me or something that worked for something else, I try to share it as much as I can. So if anyone wants to call this or consider this a felony, what I'm doing, to all the doctors out there that would call it that, if you guys knew what the hell you were doing, I would have no reason to be doing these videos, okay? Because we would all just go to a doctor, the doctor would know everything, and that would be it. Unfortunately, the reality is 90% or more, I'm probably going to say it's 95% or more of doctors have zero idea what's going on with TRT. Zero, okay? Literally zero. I'm going to keep helping guys as much as I can, and if this advice helps you out, all the better to you. And if it doesn't, hey, I tried. Better than nothing. Hope this helps, guys, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much, Danny. Thanks. Welcome.